people have been saying it since Daisy Ridley walked out there on stage. The movie is not happening. It's not happening. And now, breaking news. There's a report that says Stephen Knight, the writer, is leaving the project, and the project has been canceled indefinitely. Do we know what indefinitely means? It means it's not happening until Lucasfilm decides otherwise. That means it's canceled. Let's look into the news. Let's see what's happening. And we even told you this in a video yesterday. That it has been in doubt since the very beginning. Daisy Ridley walking out there on stage at Star Wars Celebration was nothing more than a test. Let's see the fan reaction. And we got the reaction. The report comes from the Bespin Bulletin. Daisy Ridley's untitled Ray Skywalker Star Wars movie reportedly delayed indefinitely. Stephen Knight possibly exiting the untitled Ray Skywalker uh Skywalker, reportedly delayed indefinitely the movie uh, due to creative differences. Writer reportedly close to leaving the project. Creative differences. Now, it would be better if Lucasfilm said, hey, we're canceling this movie because we're losing money and we can't afford to roll the dice and put out a risky movie because this would be a risky movie. You're probably going to lose money on this film, Lucasfilm. The Ray Skywalker Palpatine sequel trilogy era is not going to win you or gain you a lot of profit. Not at this point. Not at this point. It is over. So the article says the untitled Ray Skywalker movie led by Daisy Ridley is reporting having issues in the creative process and that uh, due to these issues, the writer of the film may be on the verge of exiting and the film itself has suffered an indefinite delay. According to a new report from World of Real, an outlet I've followed for a long time, this is the Best in Bulletin, and read almost daily, the Daisy Ridley-led flick has suffered an indefinite delay. Real isn't known for breaking stories on blockbuster franchises such as Star Wars and Marvel, so the name might not be too familiar to my readers. But they get a lot right with smaller movies, which is why I follow their work. For that reason, this report shouldn't be written off. In the article, World of Real shares that they aren't keen on looking for information on Star Wars, but that well-informed sources have shared details worth sharing. World of Real are reporting that Disney have internally delayed the Ray Skywalker film indefinitely, which is why they've pivoted to the Mandalorian and Grogu movie being the next theatrically released feature film, and why that flick was announced just last week. Real adds that, due to creative issues going on behind the scenes, Disney and Lucasfilm are no longer confident that the Ray film will release in the near future. As mentioned, the problems plaguing the Daisy Ridley-led fi film stem from creative issues. According to World of Real, Lucasfilm and the film's current writer, Stephen Knight of Peaky Blinders fame, are butting heads. Knight has reportedly submitted a draft and Lucasfilm did not like what was turned in, giving Knight so many notes that he would essentially have to start from scratch on a new draft. The outlet goes on to say that Stephen Knight's frustration with the studio has continued to grow and is seemingly at a boiling point as the writer might not be staying on board the Ray film. World of Real adds that Knight has put Star Wars on the back burner as he's focusing his efforts on completing the script for his Peaky Blinders movie, which is due to begin filming this summer after suffering a delay in development and production due to the WGA and SAG-AFTRA strikes. Last week, Making Star Wars reported that according to a source of his, Stephen Knight had yet to complete a draft of the Daisy Ridley-led feature and added, I'm not saying he's going to write it or not. I don't know. Making Star Wars shared that the scheduling and stars did not align for Knight and Lucasfilm. Does this surprise anyone? Does it surprise you that a writer turns in a script and Kathleen Kennedy and the story group give him back an inordinate amount of notes, basically going to make him change the entire story to fit what they want? No, it doesn't change. It doesn't. It doesn't surprise you at all. Thank goodness somebody actually has pride in their work and told Lucasfilm, "No, I'm out. I'm hitting the door." Now, here's what's going to happen. The dozens of, Star, of Disney Star Wars fans that are in the world today, they're going to be attacking the source, saying the scoopers are wrong, making Star Wars, the Bespin Bulletin, World of Real. Well, these people have a great track record of what they say actually coming to fruition. They're not just throwing things out into the void. These are things that legitimate scoops that they get, and more times than not, these things actually happen. Go back and look 
at the comments. Look at the way Kathleen Kennedy pitched the movie to Daisy Ridley. She didn't know about it for sure from the get-go. I hope that people learn a lesson here, viewers and, and Disney Star Wars fans, that in development or even greenlit doesn't mean the movie is going to happen. Just like what we said about Ahsoka Season 2. Yeah, Ahsoka Season 2 is probably going to happen. Probably will. But I've been calling it that I didn't think that it would. I might be wrong. But them posting news on a blog, Dave Filoni posting a picture of hand-drawn Ahsoka, means nothing. It means absolutely nothing. Do you not re- do you not remember all of the projects that Kathy Kennedy has canceled? All of the people she has fired. And it now looks like Stephen Knight is basically, they forced his hand, and he's leaving as well. So ultimately... This is a really good thing for Star Wars because anything involved with the sequel trilogy era, anything involved with Ray Skywalker and Kathy Kennedy, we're not fans of that. The majority of us aren't. I mean, who are you? What are you in fa- a fan of? Are you a proponent of, a fan of, a diehard fan of this Star Wars or this? If you're a fan of this one, then you're probably celebrating today. And if you're a fan of this one, thank you very much for being here at Echo Base Network. We are live every Thursday night and Friday afternoon. We are, you are Echo Base Network. May the force be with you. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Me, Grimlock, say this good news.